<sighs> Feels good to be back. Yes, it does. Good morning, Winthrop High School. Today is Friday, April 17th, and we are following a day, a, a schedule. During these unprecedented times, many people have continued to work and have been labeled as essential workers. Our classmate Ronald went around collecting videos thanking these essential workers. Here's Ronald to tell us more. As hopefully everybody knows by now, um, there is a global pandemic going on. And obviously, we're going to have to separate two different categories of people. We're going to have to have the essential workers over here and the everyday workers over here. And unfortunately for the everyday workers, they have been put out of work. And as unfortunate as that sounds, it's just that's how crucial that it is that we all stay home during this time. But the essential workers, however, are the people who still need to go to work every day. The doctors, the, the um, <laughs> convenience store owners, just all of those people who need to go to work. So I would like to dedicate this story to them. Just everybody saying thank you to the essential workers and just encouraging them to keep doing their job because they are the reason that we are able to function right now. And without them, I think this world would actually crumble and fall apart. So we need to appreciate everything that they do because their lives are very, very stressful right now. And even just one person saying, hey, I appreciate what you're doing is a world of difference to that person. Uh, I would like to give a huge thank you to my dad. Um, he is an essential worker. He doesn't work in the medical field. He actually works in the stock market. And if you haven't known, the stock market is actually doing very, very bad. And the other day, he said that he witnessed over $3 million just disappear before his eyes. So I'm saying, hey, dad, um, please keep doing your job because what you're doing for the economy is amazing. I know that I have invested some money in some stocks because, I mean, while well, he's a stock investment manager, he knows where to put it. So. I think this is, a, this is a huge opportunity for younger people to invest some money smartly, but I'm not going to get involved in that. That's none of my business, but I want to say thank you to my dad for how hard he works. He's actually upstairs right now working from home. So thank you, dad. I would like to thank my mother, my father, my aunt, and my grandmother for the hard work during this time, as well as any other people in healthcare and law enforcement. We thank all the doctors, nurses, and medical staff working through this national and global crisis as we search for a cure for this pandemic and hopefully keep everyone safe and healthy. I would like to thank all the essential workers, specifically my mom and dad, who are helping out the community during this hard time. Hi everybody, we just wanna say a big thank you to our dad, Rob Carter, who during this hard and confusing time is still going to work each and every day, putting himself at risk of getting the virus to keep our town. I would like to thank my mom for working at Brigham and Women's Hospital every single day. She works a really long shift and I think she really puts in the time and effort to hopefully get a hold of this disease and hopefully get rid of it and I really like to see that people I know are putting in time and effort to do so. I would like to thank Michelle and Nicole Lerner because Michelle has been working at MGH during this whole corona outbreak and Nicole has been working with my grandmother at the Arbors and she's a nursing student and she's been doing awesome and taking great care of my grandmother. Thank you to all the essential workers everywhere for doing their best to try to fight the COVID-19 pandemic and for saving so many lives. We support you all the way. I also want to give a thanks to the, all, all the essential workers, the doctors, the nurses, the grocery store workers, and the pharmacy workers. Um, you guys have been working so hard and I cannot imagine how stressful your life must be right now. Um, to specifically the doctors and nurses, my props go out to you. You purposefully and willingly expose yourself to the virus in order to treat people who have it. And your work cannot be more appreciated by the rest of us. I'd like to thank my dad, Dan Hubert, and my uncle, Jimmy Gallagher, for putting their lives at risk every day, working at the Boston Globe. Uh, they get the news out there for people that need to know more about the virus and how to protect themselves, and uh, they're true heroes. I want to give a huge thank you to all of the first responders, nurses, doctors, and supermarket staff who have put their lives on the line to help us get through this crisis. Thank you to everybody who sent something in and said thank you to an essential worker. I guarantee you are making their lives a little bit less stressful minute by minute. I know that nothing is going to be resolved with the snap of a finger, but what we can do 
is come together as a community, work together and try to beat this pandemic once and for all. Because I think everybody knows I want to go outside, you do too. <laughs> so let's work together. Thanks, Ronald. During quarantine, people have found many ways to keep themselves busy. One of the most popular pastimes has been video games. Now, speaking of video games, you want to play Xbox after this, Nick? I mean, I, I would, but I don't really have a controller. Dude, I can I can lend you one right here. Oh, thank you. So, no uh, when should I get this back to you? Uh, I don't know, May 4th will be good. Uh, probably be later than that. But anyways, our classmate Andre has collected clips of people showing what they've been playing during quarantine. Hello, people. Welcome back to video. Today, I'll be keeping myself off camera for as long as possible so I don't embarrass myself. I'll be showing interviews of people talking about what video games they've been playing over this not summer vacation. So without further, without any further ado, here they are. So, games I have been playing over quarantine, I would say I've been playing a lot of um, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege. Doom Eternal, Modern Warfare, and Animal Crossing. And what I would like to say about each game during quarantine is like, like Rainbow Six Siege and Modern Warfare is more so chilling out with other friends who are in quarantine as well. As in, say, my friend Anthony. Really nice time to play with him. Nice time to play with my friend Ryan, Kamar, and everyone on there. On, um, t on Rainbow Six Siege, it's very fun to just play, to just play around. That's one, one of my favorite games of all time. Doom Eternal, I, it's a, since it's a single player game, it is very fun, I want to say. Very, or, and it's very good over quarantine, because then again, like, I feel like I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm not the only one here, but then again, everyone's getting, probably being, uh, driven insane via the quarantine, and I would like to say that Doom is one of those games where you can kind of vent out and just have a nice time. And then Animal Crossing. That is, that is also on one of those games that like I would say it's very good for venting out of. I would say it's very good for venting out of because then again, if, if it's being shown now, I don't know. Um, you can see that, like, you just, you have your little own island, and it's very nice. You get to do whatever you really want, customize it however you want. And, like, it's very nice and relaxing. That's what I really like to see. Like, Qu just, quarantine, quarantine games, I would definitely say, I'm glad that some of these have, like, Doom Eternal and Animal Crossing have released, because if they weren't out, I probably would have been driven insane at this point. <laughs> What's up, Winthrop High School gamers? I hope you all are having a wonderful day. I know I sure am. Why? I'm just playing a bit of Mario Galaxy, but instead of Mario, I'm playing as Luigi. Ha <laughs> ha, how about them apples? Chill, chill, big man. No matter what they say, everything. My name is Patrick Honko, and I've been playing GTA the past kind of quarantine. I've been playing video games too, obviously, and uh, mine.
Well, that's all I've got for this story. Good luck to everyone. I hope you're all still fine, and I'll see you next time. Back to the studio. Thanks, Andre. Since the seniors have been hit the hardest by these difficult times, we want to celebrate them for the next few weeks. Jenna and the staff here at Winthrop High School put together a video for these seniors. Each week we'll be showing clips from this video to honor them as best as possible. Here's this week's segment. Hello, Winthrop High School seniors. This is Mr. Crombie here. I want to reach out to you to let you know that I'm thinking about you. I know that our underclassmen, our teachers, and our community are all also thinking about you as you get closer towards the end of your high school experience. I want you to know that we're going to do everything we can to make the end of the school year very special for you. And we recognize that Class of 2020 the bands. runs the place. I was thinking about we the miss bands. you. Stay positive. Stay healthy. And, and hope to see you soon. Thanks. Bye. In small club in Senior class 2020. Um, I don't want to get too, too emotional here. Give a really long speech. Um, just hoping for the best for you guys. I uh, just want to congratulate you on uh, your accomplishment. Graduating high school. So that's a big deal. Um, and best of luck in the future. All right. See ya. Take it easy. Hi, class of 2020. Congratulations. I know back when you were in the second grade, you said, oh, I wish I didn't have to go to school. You didn't quite mean this. And you'd say to me, something wasn't fair. And I'd say to you, well, life isn't fair. I didn't mean that either. Hey, class of 2020, uh, I've been with you guys for five years now, starting way back in eighth grade um, in a little hallway that we call the classroom, um, to now seeing you guys graduate. I'm very proud of all of you guys. Um, I miss being at the school with you guys. Um, you guys are a fabulous class, one of the favorite I've ever seen graduate out of here. It's been amazing creating the amazing projects that we've done. Uh, everything from the film festival to the, all the help that you guys have done through Wake Up Winter High School. Um, big shout out to my lacrosse seniors who helped really pave the way for uh, winning the NEC and creating the program that we've had. Um, all my students in photography and the yearbook crew who have done an amazing job taking the yearbook to where it is now. I'm super proud of all of you guys. I miss you guys. And uh, I'm excited to see what you create in the future and all of the world changing uh, people that you are going to become. Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Sullivan. I just want to say congratulations to my former kindergarten students, my former third grade students, and to the entire class of 2020. Congratulations. I'm really proud of you. Dear seniors, in 1776, Thomas Paine wrote, these are the times that try men's souls. 244 years later, these words are still aptly relevant to the crisis we currently face. You, the class of 2020, have been asked to give up much in order to protect yourselves, your family, your friends, and your community. I want to extend my heartfelt gratitude and admiration for the huge sacrifices you have made to accomplish this. But let's also look ahead to bright times. And my wish for you, class of 2020, is for the happiest and most prosperous futures. Hey, class of 2020, Mr. Beckfield here over at WMS. I'm just here to uh, sort of congratulate you guys on two great things that are now open to you. First off, um, the big reveal is that I can now tell you officially that periods four and seven at the old Winthrop Middle School were my favorite classes. The second big reveal is, now that you're graduating, you can call me Becky V. No more Mr. Beckfold and all that. Well, but on all seriousness, I'd like to wish you guys all the greatest successes in the world. Um, and really, I'm happy for you guys, and I hope to see you at graduation in June. Thanks, Jenna. Well, that's all the time we have for this week's Wake Up Winthrop Quarantine Edition. Thanks for watching, and remember to be kind to one another. Roll Vice. But don't go just yet. The teachers had their fun, and now it's our turn. Submit your videos, dancing, or lip syncing to the song Can't Touch This by MC Hammer, and send it to anyone in the digital media two or three classes, and they'll put it in the upcoming Wake Up Winthrop. Thank you for watching, and stay safe.